Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I will also throw my Instagram name up on the screen if you'd like to go check it out as well. So if this look is already up, I will link it, but I'm not sure if it'll be up already or not. I'm doing a little bit of pre-filming for this little makeup collection series, but welcome back to it. This is part three. Last week I told you guys it may not be that entertaining because it was foundation. If you are interested in that, I'll link it too. You can go check it out. And also go check out part one if you haven't already. Both parts will be linked down below in the description box every single week when I upload this. But today is part three. It's going to be a little bit more interesting. I'm going to be taking you guys into other face powders. So by that I mean contour, bronzer, blush, highlight, those type of things. This might be a longer video, but if I get too caught up in contour, bronzer, and blush, I may just put highlight in another video because I don't want these to be too, too long. That's why I'm breaking these up into different parts, and I feel like if I put all three of these together, it's going to be a super long video. But if it ends up being a long video anyways, I do apologize, but I do hope you guys are really enjoying these mini series of videos on my whole makeup collection. But yeah, if you guys are interested to see which bronzer, blush, contour, and maybe even highlight, we'll see, then just keep on watching. Today we are going to be jumping in to bronzers, contours, and then blushes. So I was going to do highlighters too, but honestly that is going to be far way too much. So I'm hoping I can get through contour and bronzers and then down to blush as well. So in my Alex drawers we have primers that are in the top. If you guys have not checked out part one or part two of the series, make sure you go check it out because you'll be able to see all of my base face products and those two. But the top drawer I have primers, the second drawer I have some other stuff that we're gonna get into in another part. And then the third drawer down is my bronzers and contours and then blush is right underneath. So first let's get into this. This is another three kind of divider going on here. I did find this at TJ Maxx as well. I do know that. Some of these I know and I'll let you know if I do know. <laughs> I know, I just had a friend's moment there. But this has been super handy for dividing certain things in this drawer and I really do like that. I feel like it's starting to get a little out of hand, especially like with all of these palettes that I have going on because if you see it, there is actually quite a lot stacked up back there as well. Again, I will lay these all out on the rug in a minute and show you guys go through them and all of that. But on this side, what I'm going with is back here. These are products that I don't really reach for that much, if at all. I know I need to drag this back out and try it out, but I just felt like it was so much work for not the best payoff that I was wanting. And then some of these other ones are just super dark, so I don't really reach for them as much. And that's kind of why they're back there. But these right here in the middle are more like trios which I honestly forgot about this one. <laughs> I need to get this one back out because I really do like it. But these are just kind of trios that I have or just like that type of ordeal. This single one is here just because it's so much bigger, but I have some of my Tarte ones and then Pure Cosmetics. This is a blush and bronzer and then Pretty Vulgar. All of these are just more singles. And then these two are just round and kind of hard to like fit in here decently with everything else. So I usually have this pushed back and then just kind of leaned up against that so I can make room for some more right through here. Like I need any more, right? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lay these all out for you guys and show you guys them individually, especially all of the bigger palettes that I have going on here because it's just kind of hard to 
in a drawer. So I will lay these out on the rug again and then we'll get into blushes. Okay, so here I have my bronzers and contours for the most part. I'm gonna go through them with you guys. So I am filming some of these parts like on different days. So if you guys notice differences like with my nails and stuff like that throughout them, that is why. So I filmed parts with my drawers a different day and now I am getting to these on the rug. Life has been hectic, so it's really hard for me to do this all at one setting. So I'm trying to like split it up as much as I can. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this. So I'm going to show you guys my contours and bronzers and then we'll jump back into blushes before we end this video. So first I'm going to start with this three sectioned organizer thing. So in the very back here, I mentioned these are the products that I don't really use that often. So that's why they're back here. So this one, I don't really use it often just because, I mean, let's be honest, it's just was kind of a fail. I don't think the overall makeup look looked bad, but it just wasn't really my cup of tea. This is the flipbook from Flesh and it's literally sheet makeup. That is the highlighter. It's super pink. It just <laughs> does not pull off well on me. The blush wasn't bad, but wasn't that pigmented. And then the bronzer looks really intense, but honestly, to even get any bronzer on your face, you have to really, really rub. And I just don't know like how even good that is for your skin either. I need to get it back out and try it because I've literally have only used this for that video. So I definitely need to keep trying it out or I need to pass it along to somebody else to try out. This I don't really use it often. This is from Butte Basics and it is their Bronze Essentials. And I need to try this one again too. I just believe it was a little too dark for me. I think if you mix all of them, it's just kind of like a very orange shade. Sorry, I do have swatches, but um, even trying to get like the lighter shade over here, I just felt like it was a little too warm for me, but I do need to try it out again before I overall just pass on it. This one I got a while back in an Ipsy. This is Pop Beauty and it is their Sunkiss Bronzer in the shade Secret Sunshine. And I think it was just the ordeal of it just being a little bit too deep for me. But I definitely use this a lot. Fun fact, I actually used to use this for my brows back when I was too afraid to experiment with actual brow products because I'm a ginger, my eyebrows are pretty much white. <laughs> but looking back on it, it honestly was a fail because usually my eyebrows looked a little too shiny. <laughs> I also have this throwback, which is a body shimmer from e.l.f. and I could honestly probably just pass on this. I don't know when I would really use this again, but I don't know. Maybe I'll throw it in my body lotion drawer or something like that. I also have the Bahama Mama, and I do want to try this one out again. The sample is just so little to even use, but I felt like it was too deep or too warm for me but swatching it now I almost feel like it's a decent shade so I do need to try that out again. A lot of people rave about this one. The next section right here is kind of like trios, duos type ordeal. So I have this one right here from Makeup Revolution. This is their Ultra Contour Kit in the shade Fair C01. It's a pretty decent one. Um, my sister passes along to me. She didn't really care for it, but I honestly fell in love with it after she gave it to me, and I use this like crazy for month after month. I need to give it a go again because it's been a little bit, but I already know I love it. I have it two here from Tarte. I love Tarte's face products. Their contours, um, bronzers, blushes, highlighters. They're all amazing. You guys will see I have quite the collection of Tarte, but this is their Tartist Pro Glow To Go, and it's kind of like a mini of the regular Pro Glow palette, which I also have, and I'll show you guys in a minute. But this one is super handy for traveling, and this one is definitely very loved. Again, sorry if this does not focus. I'm trying to keep an eye on it, but yeah. So in this one, you have chisel, burst, and gleam, contour, and two highlighters. Um, they're really pretty. This one's definitely more 
goldish and then this one's definitely more pink. You can also mix them together and kind of get like a little pretty champagne moment. Then I have the Hamptons Weekender Contour Palette which has a Farmer's Market Contour, Summer House Blush, and then Beach Giveaway Highlighter. It's also very loved too. I These are so good and they smell amazing. I also have this trio from Pure Cosmetics which is their Bronze and Brighton Palette. This one looks super vibrant but honestly a little bit does go a long way, but you can pull it off so well. It looks so intense in the palette, but it is so beautiful on the face. And you do have a beautiful blush, highlight, and bronzer shade. And that's in Blushing Glow, After Glow, and Mineral Glow. This is their Dreamer one. I also have this little duo here from Coastal Scents. It is their blush and bronzer palette. It's two of them from that palette. And I got this in a subscription, I believe, but you have like a contour shade and then a blush shade. I wasn't honestly the hugest fan of this. I felt like they weren't really good payoff, but again, I feel like I'm getting to the point where I need to just go through everything, shop my stash, and keep trying this stuff out to see what I need to keep and what I need to go ahead and declutter. This one I have here because my little single section over here was getting a little full. So this is Pretty Vulgar. This is their Bronze B bronzer in the shade Bronze Mannequin. Looks like that. I got this from a Boxy Lux, but I love Pretty Vulgar's packaging. And I've been obsessed with their blush formula for a really long time, but this one is really good too. Moving on to some singles right here. I, of course, have the NARS Laguna bronzer, which I have been using like crazy lately. Just a little sample, but these honestly last so long. I also have this bamboo bronzer from Ciate London in the shade Palm Island. Definitely very loved. I need to end up buying the full size of this because I love it that much. This is from Models Co. and it's actually another trio. This is a cream too. It's a little intimidating, but the payoff of this is so beautiful, especially if you're going very natural with your makeup. But you do have a highlight, blush, and a bronzer. And that's in the shade Champagne, Peach Bellini, and Bronze. I have my Morphe Brontour in the shade Glitterati. Love this. I contour with this side and bronze up with this side. So beautiful. Throwback Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And this is the shade Sunlight. I have a Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in the shade Park Avenue Princess, I believe. Yes. This one is beautiful. This is from Pixie by Petra, and it is their beauty bronzer in the shade Summertime, and that's what I love it for. This is a beautiful bronzer for the summertime. I have my Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. This is a little warm for me, but super beautiful in the summertime as well. I have my Original Hula my Hula Light, which is very loved, and my Hula Quickie Contour Stick. And then I also have this little Manicadar Beauty duo of a bronzer and a highlight. Everything from this. Now I'm going to get to my actual contour face palettes. So I do have a couple of these round ones. I have one from Wet n Wild. It is their contouring palette. This is supposed to be a good dupe for the Marc Jacobs and although I don't have the Marc Jacobs, I really do like this one. I don't necessarily use this light side, but the contour side is really nice. It's a good cool tone one. I also have this one from Ulta Beauty, the Complete Face 3-in-1 Sculpting Palette. And I haven't really used this one enough to really give you guys a good thought on this, but yeah. Okay, right, so I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette. This one is just filled with contours, and I did get this in a subscription, but I honestly wanted to buy it, I'm not going to lie. It's a beautiful palette. I think I'm won over by the packaging more than the actual product, though. I feel like if you're a good medium skin tone, then buy this, because you can literally use all of these shades. Even a little bit deeper, you could too. 
but for me being so pale, I feel like a lot of these can be a little too warm on me. I need to try them out more this summertime with some fake tan on, but as for now, I can definitely kind of brighten up with these two, but I kind of go for angle right here, and it's almost a little too warm, but these other ones are even warmer, so it's kind of hard for me to get a lot of use out of this palette, but it is a beautiful palette. Next up, I have the Nude Rose Sculpt and Glow Contour Highlight and Blush Palette from BH Cosmetics. I've had this one for a while and it's really pretty too. You kind of have a banana powder, um, a blush, contour shades. I of course use Cool Tone and kind of like a bronzer slash blush. It's a little peachy looking and then a pink highlight. I mainly used to use this for the banana powder and that Cool Tone bronze contour pretty much cool tone contour that was really good i still feel like bh is such an underrated brand and even from myself i used to buy bh all the time and i definitely need to check out some of their newer stuff i have my very old now kat von d shade and light palette it has been through it for sure but this over here is a mess because when I got this palette, this one was completely shattered, so we kind of had to repress it. Thankfully, I don't actually use it. I use this shade over here, which is subconscious, and then Levitation is really good for brightening my face, but I also use that banana powder in the middle, which is Lyric. It's pretty good too. Um, I don't use this palette as much anymore, but it definitely is a really pretty contour palette and I mean so many people are gonna tell you that. I also have the light to medium contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love the shade Fawn, that cool tone contour again. Um, the banana is really good as well and I cannot remember these shade names for some reason. Vanilla, that's good. And I even like this one over here to kind of naturally brighten up, sand. You guys may have seen my video on this. This is Ashley Tisdale's Illuminate Cosmetics Glow Up Palette. I got the purple cool tone. It has turn up bills, which are kind of like highlighters. And then GNO and Squad, which are the bronzers in the palette. Super pretty. I also have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. This one's really cool because it has a mirror down the middle on both sides. You have a cream side and a powder side. You have warm, cool tone, um, brightening powder, highlight, which is a beautiful highlight. Um, this cream contour, which looks darker, but I can honestly pull this off really well. I like to go in with a round top, like small definer brush, super pretty. And I haven't played around enough with these other ones. The highlight cream is okay, but not like anything too, too amazing. <laughs> I like the powder highlight a lot better. Then I have the Pure Sculptor palette, which I love. These shades are intimidating too, but I of course use the top two, which is Inventor and Originator. And I mean, you guys see the highlight? This is from Glow Minerals. It's their contour kit. A family member gave this to me, so I don't really know where you can even purchase this, but it is a really good palette. I use the cool tone, and these shades up here are really nice too to work with. I try to use it more off camera just because I'm not really sure where it comes from. I don't know if it's the type of ordeal where it's like Mary Kay, Avon, or something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but. The last two face palettes I have is my Tarte, Tardis Pro Glow and Blush, and then the original Tarte Pro Glow, which has been through it. This is such a good palette for me. This one has four highlighters and then a cream and a powder contour, and I like both of the contour shades, but I do stick to mainly strobe and stunner. I love strobe. It is so beautiful. Stunner is a very beautiful highlight too though. These two, Lit and Fire, are definitely beautiful. I just can't really pull them off on my pale skin, but this palette is definitely one of my favorite pieces that I have in my whole collection. I love it. 
Pro Glow and Blush is good too, but definitely not as good as the original. You kind of have like a bronzer going on, a highlight, and then blushes. Super pretty. The blushes are really pretty. I just feel like it's a very vibrant palette, so you have to go very lightly with it. And this is almost a little too warm for me. And this is almost a little too dark for me highlight wise too. So I mainly use it for the blushes, but I do like to keep it with the rest of my um, face palettes. That is all of them. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and then show you guys my blushes. Now on to blushes. This is my blush drawer. I actually have one out, so I'll stick that right there. Oh, there we go. So yeah, this is my blush drawer. A lot's going on here. It's kind of the same ordeal as bronzer and contour. So I have palettes right here. I have my bigger Morphe ones, my Tarte, uh, Too Faced. I think underneath this, yeah, I have a Becca. And then NYX, Tarte, and this is filled with singles and it goes all the way back into this drawer. This container, I think I found at TJ Maxx as well. I'm honestly not 100% sure, but I have tons of singles in here, but also like, you know, these Anastasia blush trios because they just fit so good right there. But then I have some ColourPop, Tarte, Pixie, Note, uh, Pretty Vulgar, NARS, ELF. It goes all the way back. So I'll show you guys in a minute. Up front, I have some bulkier ones like Kasia Beauty and a little Tarte sample I just threw in there. Um, Physician's Formula, Laura Geller. And also, I just have these four little miniature Benefit blushes just stacked up right there. It's just kind of easier to get into. This is getting too big. The whole thing is just getting a little out of control at this point. But yeah, this is how I have them organized. I'm going to go ahead and take these to the rug now. Now moving on to my blush drawer before we finish this video. I do have this turned around a little bit. This is how I had it in the drawer. I think I'm actually gonna start with this side first. So first I have this Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. This is an oldie for sure. I don't even know the shade or anything on that one. Um, I have my Physician's Formula Argan Wear. Love this. This is such a beautiful natural pink blush. A Baked and Brighten Blush from Laura Geller. So pretty in the shade Tropic Hues. I have a Kasia Beauty. This is one of their cheeky stamps in the shade 02 Saucy. And it has like the cushion and then this is the stamp part. I have done a whole video on Kasia Beauty. I also have the Tarte Make Every Moment Count Blush Palette, which is so beautiful. And I just mentioned this in my favorites. I do have blush palettes in this drawer, and I do have a couple other face products in this drawer, mainly because I use them just for like the blushes. This could probably be in my contour as well because this is from Too Faced, their natural face. It does have those contour bronzer shades in it, but I honestly use this for the blushes. I think they're so beautiful. I love pink sand. It's a beautiful shade. I also have a throwback Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill palette. Who else has this? We have Prosecco Pop, Champagne Pop, and then three blushes up top. I love this palette. I have Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless palette. They're kind of like bake blushes. Super pigmented. The NYX Sweet Cheeks. I've been using this like crazy lately, trying it out. And so far, I've been pretty impressed with this. I also have this throwback. This is the Tarte Blush Bazaar palette their amazonian clay formula so beautiful 10 shades this was one of their holiday palettes and it was worth every penny i have not hit pan on any of these and i've used all of these so much limited edition so i can't really use it too often on my channel because i don't want to do that to you guys because you can't really get your hands on it i have all of my single benefit mini blushes so i have dandelion California, Gold Rush, and Rocketeer. 
so beautiful. And then I have two Morphe blush palettes as well. I have the 8W Warm Master Palette. So these are like the more warm tone blushes. And then I also have the 8C Cool Pro Palette, which is more of the cool tones. Now, moving on to this right here. Up front, I have my four Anastasia blushes. These are blush trios. So I have a cocktail party, which the packaging on these are really nice. They kind of have a button that you push and then they come up. So I have Vegas, Scorching, and Babe. Then we have Pool Party, which is Blank, Pageant, and Cash. Peachy Love, Nectarine, Ginger, and Miami. Love this Miami orange blush. It's so beautiful. And Pink Passion. We have Basically Sugar and Rose. Beautiful everyday pink blushes. I highly recommend Anastasia blushes. I also have a little mini deluxe NARS Orgasm. A Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics Play Stain. This is a lip and cheek, but it's so beautiful for like a natural day-to-day -day makeup. It's easy to work with, but it's just such a pretty natural shade. I have a little sample of the Balm in Full Swing blush. This little Trifle Cosmetics Raspberry Ripple Trio. It's really hard to like get your brush into pa palettes like this, but it is super pretty shades. So right here I have my four deluxe sample sizes of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. I have Feisty, which is a deeper blush. I have Party, which is a light pink. It's so beautiful. Concept, which is a go-to for every day for me. And then this one is quirky, and it is definitely more of an out there coral blush. The formula is so good, and when they say 12 hours, they literally mean it. It is so long wearing. So I do have a Pixie right here, Pixie by Petra. This is their Beauty Blush Duo Rose Gold. So you have a blush and a highlight. I like to pair this up with that Beauty Bronzer Summertime, like I was mentioning before. Moving on to my ColourPop blushes. These are these Super Shock Cheeks. So this one is matte and it's Count Me In from the Spring Collection. This one is matte and it's Yes She Did from the Spring Collection. This one is Get Laid, which is also matte from the Spring Collection. And this one I've had for a while. It's Never Been Kissed and it's also matte. I have this blush from Note in the shade Desert Rose. My beloved Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush in the shade Hush Blush. Such a beautiful shade. I have this NARS. It is Enchanted. It's more of like a cream formula. This one is beautiful. It's from Seraphine Botanicals and it is the shade Happy Hibiscus. Such a good blush. It's like a nice mauve blush. So beautiful. Then I have this from Ulta Beauty, and I honestly really like this. It's a highlight and blush in Fresh Glow and Nude Pink. They're actually really pigmented and super beautiful. I don't think you can buy these. I am not 100% sure on that, but I think I just got this like in a little gift bag or something, but they're actually really pretty. I have another blush trio. This is from City Colors Be Matte Blush. So they're all three mattes, so beautiful. You have like a very bright um, a purple moment and then a more subtle peachy pink. I, of course, have some e.l.f. blushes. This one is very loved. This is the shade Candid Coral. I have this one here, which is Mellow Mauve and Berry Mary. Then I have the Studio Makeup. This is the Luminous Loose Blush. I'm not a big fan of loose blushes, but this one is beautiful. I have this one right here from Hikari. It is a shimmer bronzer, but I kind of like it more of like a blush or just a little bit of a wash of color. 
Then another one from Hikari, and this one is Vibrant AF. It is a really good size too, and I got this in an Ipsy Glam Bag a couple years ago. It's really pretty. It's the shade Tango. But yeah, that was my contour bronzers and blush collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching part three of my makeup collection, and I will see you guys in my next video. I've been